Welcome back. Dude, what do we got here? Uh, 2023 Polaris Scrambler XP1000S. Okay. It's a mouthful. Yeah, it is, <laughs> dude. That is a mouthful on an early morning. Yeah. So why why is the exhaust off? So we got an HMF exhaust for it. We're trying to put that on. I already took it apart. Let me see. So how far did you have to take this apart to install a full exhaust? Kind of a pain in the butt. Okay. I'm gonna loosen all this. Pull that off. Pull with a whole cover that goes right here and right here. You gotta loosen these. Okay. There's a drip tray that goes. I already have the bracket installed. But yeah. There's a drip tray that goes right there that's kind of bound up by the sway bar. Okay, so take all that out. Yeah, take all that out. Get everything completely out of the way. Yep. You even gotta pull this bolt, get the original bracket off. Okay. All right, well, we're at a good starting point, so now yep. it's time to get the exhaust installed. Yes. So what's up with this top bracket? This top bracket, basically, there's two U-bolts that go on a frame down here. Kind of see them up Yep, there. I can see it. Yeah, those, and then up here, these work. I'd have Mason come help me with these bolts up here with the little spacies. Okay. So this little spacey right here and just bolts like that. Okay. So h up basically makes you completely remove everything, and you're installing a new exhaust hanger. Yep. Okay. The original bracket is on the bottom right here. I just held my rubber bushings. This one's going to go up. So we're going from, it's not rubber mounted, is it still? Uh, the silencers have rubber on them. Perfect. I was going to say, you definitely want, yeah. if you can, rubber mounted exhaust so you don't get any cracking on your exhaust. Yeah, we're going to take a look at the exhaust. Yeah, let's take a look at it. Our head pipe. Nice, shiny. It comes with a new gasket, which is always nice. Thank you very much for that. Awesome. I already have the Y pipe installed. Okay. And do the right hand silencer, and these are the rubber bushings. Okay. Very and nice. And you have the left hand side. Okay. Well. Oh. So HMF does put together a nice instruction packet with pictures, because I love pictures. We could learn from them. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, that'll be your next job. Nice instructions, instructions for our products. There's a picture book. That's the one. Put a picture book for me, because kind of slow. Beautiful. So we're going to take what you learn here, put it in video. Yep. Perfect. All right, let's install the exhaust. All right, Alex. So you've got the exhaust on. Everything looks freaking awesome. I like it. Got plenty of room to get to your belt now, which is nice, real nice. Dude, you're so organized today. Look at you. I have to be. When got I lose things. <laughs> got your little tray going. <laughs> yeah, always. All right, so let's talk about the optimizer. So I got this little guy mounted right here. Under the battery, on the wiring all the way back. You got two injectors on here. There's one tucked way down there. Okay. There's one tucked way down over there. So just stick your fingers in there and hope for the best. Uh, I used a pair of needle nose pliers. There you go. So it's basically a piggyback system. You're gonna piggyback off the new whip to the injector, and you're gonna be able to control your fuel supply with this cute little tuner. Always get those when you get an exhaust. We're gonna start this thing up soon? Yeah, start right off, yeah. Pull some exhaust on our face? Yeah. All right, go for it.
got the HMF exhaust all installed today. It's looking really nice. Fit and finish was pretty good. Can't complain. I just took it for a ride. It's it's loud, guys. I think I just set off the car alarm up the road. <laughs> but that's okay. So I'm going to take this thing for a ride. I'm going to show you guys what it sounds like. I'm going to do a couple drive-bys. I'm going to actually hold the camera and video on the bike, too, so you can hear it. So let's go ahead and take it for a ride. his exhaust but guys we did put the hmf optimizer on here it's working great so far we haven't made any adjustments we went with their baseline settings very happy with it it's gotta be what like 50 degrees out today yeah not bad arizona 50 degrees it was January. snowing the other day <laughs> crazy so we're gonna bring this bad boy back inside we're gonna get a front bumper made for it we'll do something similar that we did to his uh yfz 450r like a crew runner style bumper I'm debating doing something back here on these mounts here. Do like a lower bumper with a license plate bracket. Because guys, it is Arizona, so this thing's going on the road. We've already got the turn signals installed. Got little guys right here. One on each side. And then on the front, we actually just got them on the side of this shroud right here. They're kind of tucked in. Got the horn. Yeah. Next is the license plate bracket with the light. This thing's pretty much ready to get registered for the road. So they'll be ripping this thing around Arizona on the streets and on the trails. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. We're gonna get this front bumper belt installed. That'll be the next video. We'll see you soon. <laughs> 